Hello, America. I know many of you are not happy that I'm president because I wasn't elected, but sometimes you have to understand that fascism is what's needed to grow an economy and really make it soar. And I know there's a lot of questions out there. How could you possibly let the Koch brothers take control of the energy sector, the treasury, the prisons, the roads, a lot of stuff? And how could you possibly disband the military and give it to private contractors? But that's why I wear casual clothes to make you all okay with the fascism transition. Also, I've got a really great guy to be Secretary of Defense. He's very soothing, like me. I think he's going to explain it pretty well. His name is Ben Carson. Hello, America. I know a lot of people were surprised when I was made Secretary of Defense. They didn't seem like a specialty of mine, but they're just not familiar with all my experience torturing animals. I'm going to start treating Vladimir Putin like he's one of those cats I used to go after with a bow and arrow. And then ISIS? We can pretend that it's like going to shoot bottle rockets at it, just like I used to do the stray squirrels in my alleyway. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that's going to go with secretary. Oh, I thought of another good way to torture animals. You could also put one underwater. I used, to do, I used to do that too. Hey, where are you going? Don't cut away from me. I wasn't given enough time. Give me more time for my ideas. Oh my God, that was amazing. I think we could all learn a lot from just calming it down and not getting so stressed out about things. Just bend over and let it happen, America. And here to explain exactly how the transition of fascism is going to work for the Justice Department, my Attorney General, Lindsey Graham. Hi, y'all. It's Lindsey Graham. I took off my jacket to explain some of the new rules in terms of Justice Department and gay marriage, gay people in general. Isn't this fun? Isn't this casual? I never thought fascism could be so down to earth and humble. But I want everybody out there to know that we're not changing that much about the way gay people live. Just that they can't get married, hold a job, live anywhere near a school zone, cohabitate with others, and the very act of them having sex will be criminalized. And I've spent a lot of time researching this. Nobody thinks about gay sex more than Lindsey Graham and how to prevent it. Don't worry though. If John McCain and I can live a platonic relationship for 20 years without acting on it, it should be no problem for the rest of America. Oh my God, that was great, Lindsay. So just remember, America, don't fight it. Because as we say in Wisconsin, the cheese always gets made. I know which way the cow's rear end is. We know how to go about the milk and the udders or whatever other homespun bullshit nonsense you need to get on board with the new world order.